Stacy twirling her little heart out, but her dad doesn't have a Galaxy S4, so he doesn't have a 13 megapixel camera, which means he can't take the kind of awesome pictures and video of his daughter that he could with the S4. Are you kidding? No. Dad, tell me that's not true. I'm sorry, honey. I'll get the Galaxy S4 after the presentation. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, Patrick does have an S4, so he can take amazing shots of his son Jeremy as he gets ready for his first tap dance recital. You're up next, honey. <laughs> Boy, am I nervous. Oh, you're going to do just fine. I want to get some backstage footage. Now, if you're like me, you have 800 pictures of your mom and like two of your dad because dad always took the pictures. Our family videos look like a movie about a single mother. Well, all that's about to change. With the new dual camera feature, not only can Patrick get great pictures and video of little Jeremy, who's so nervous he could throw up, but Patrick can also be in the video. We're so excited. It's Jeremy's first tap dance recital. Mm, and that would mean a lot to Patrick if that was really his wife and kid and his name was really Patrick. Ryan, tell us about the dual camera record function while Jeremy tries to do his laces up and keep his lunch down. This is definitely a very cool and very unique feature. Pretty much every smartphone out there today has two cameras, the main camera on the back that also shoots video, and the front-facing camera that you can use to take pictures of yourself. With the Galaxy S4, Patrick can shoot video with both at the same time. He can capture the scene he's looking at while also inserting himself in it. <laughs> and the dual camera mode can be turned on and off by clicking a button on the screen. Then, when viewed, the video will switch from the full screen video taken with the main camera to the dual screen taken with both. That way, you can be in the whole video if you want to, or pop in and out. A really great feature. Now, let's rejoin our fake family for the demonstration. Let's take a nice picture for Grandma to frame. Oh, I want you in the picture. I will be. Will? Oh, yeah, dual camera also works with photos. See? And Patrick can move and locate the front camera photo anywhere he wants to just deciding on a template. Before he takes the shot, Patrick can choose from stamp, instant pick, heart shape, split view, <laughs> oval blur, fisheye. I want fisheye. Fisheye it is. With the sound in shot feature, you have two options for adding sound to your pictures, before pressing the shutter or after. Hi, Grandma. It's Jeremy's first recital. Wish you were here. Oh, this will be a great backstage photo. Wish you were here. Uh, wait, so, Ryan, that means you could have a picture of me, and when you looked at it, hear your voice saying how thrilling it is for you to be on stage with me. Right. It's like adding... Then the Galaxy S4 creates a composite, erasing people or unnecessary objects, so you get a nice, clean shot. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. So, 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 theoretically, if I was taking a picture of my wife and her mother entered the shot, I could get rid of her? Yes. But I can only erase her from the picture, not from my house, right? Right. Okay. But we set up features that help you grab those shots and easily share them through your favorite social media, of course. Another cool feature, especially when you're looking through photos, is air view. Oh, yes. Uh, like with the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 2, where you get a quick preview by hovering the pen over the screen. Exactly. Well, now, with the Galaxy S4, you can do the same thing using just your finger. Any finger. Pick your favorite. Great. Okay. Uh, in our next scene, we're going to meet two guys pretending to backpack through Asia and South America. Oh, can I get a little Shanghai up here? 